More than 79,000 ballots have been cast so far in this year's special elections in Duval County's voters I've been choosing between four candidates vying for a city council seat. The special election comes after the passing of city councilman Tommy Hazuri. So we're talking about two Democrats and two Republicans that are running against each other for the at-large city council seat. On the Republican side, candidates Nick Howland and Howdy Russell for Democrats Tracy Polson and James Coach Jacobs and we'll see what their outcome is in just a little bit. Uh, Tia Collins was at a polling location in downtown and she joins us with this story. Atia? Polls are closed for this year's special election. 11.7% of registered voters were expected to turn out to the ballots today, but at last check, over 12% made it to cast their vote. I talked to the supervisor of elections who said this year's special election comes at a time that creates challenges that might be preventing people from getting to the polls. Nearly 200 voting sites were open today across the county. No major issues at the sites were reported, according to the Duval County Supervisor of Elections, Mike Hogan. He says special elections typically have a low turnout, with most ballots coming from what he calls super voters, are those who consistently cast a ballot in every election. He says this special election was especially difficult due to the rush timetable and shorter campaign time for candidates, and that has played into the low voter turnout. Moments notice they find out about an election and they haven't had time to raise money, to do all those things, to get their message out, to put signs all across the county. And so everything is rushed. Uh, the time constraints are, are, are terrible on the candidates. The supervisor of elections expects his staff to be working into the night to bring you those scores. Remember, if no one candidate receives more than 50 percent of today's votes, we will have a runoff election in February between the top two candidates. Reporting in downtown Jacksonville, Tia Collins, First Coast News, on your side.